Hello, my most amazing artists. We're going to learn to use temper cakes today. You're going to need some water. You can see I only put a little bit of water in here. Your temper cakes. This tray has been cleaned nice and neat. I want eventually to get all the trays nice and neat and clean so we can have clean, pretty, bright colors. So make sure you do that um, and try to keep it clean when you have it. Then I have some pieces of paper. You're going to be painting on a big piece of paper, but I'm just going to show you how these work. You're going to need a brush. You're going to have to put your brush in the water first, and then you're going to wake up the paint by rubbing it. It might take a little time, and then depending on how much water you add, will decide how opaque or dark that color is. If I want this turquoise to be darker, I don't want to add more water. I just want to put more paint. See, I'm adding paint without putting my brush in the water and I can make it darker. So I can go light to dark depending on how I want it to look. Now, so let's say I'm done with that and I want to um, add another color. I want to do yellow, but I don't want to mix the blue with the yellow. So I need to wash my brush really well, get it really clean, and then the way you're going to check to see if your brush is clean is you're going to wipe it on the paper towel. If you see any blue on the paper towel, that means it's not clean. Now I'm going to put my brush in the water and I'm going to get some yellow. I'm going to put yellow on this page. So same way, if you want it to be really light, like watercolor and transparent and see-through, use a lot of water. If you want it to be more opaque, you need to use a lot more paint. See how I'm really rubbing my brush on the paint? And then you can make it more opaque and bright where you can't see through it. So today you're going to experiment with those and think about how you can make it transparent Opaque. Transparent is where you can see through it. Opaque is bright, uh, darker where you can't see through it as much. You can't see the paper. So right here is my blue. Transparent. Opaque. So I'm done with my yellow. Now I need to clean my brush. If you want to mix colors, if you want to mix colors, this is what you're going to do. I'm going to get this one. Let's say I want to make a light blue. This is turquoise and I want to make a light blue. Today, I don't have any palettes for you. You're just going to put some blue. Make sure you have a clean brush. Put some blue on your... And then... And then... Get some white after your brush is clean and mix it up. It doesn't really make it very light, but you can try mixing colors that way. But mix it on your paper, not on the paint, okay? You always want to put a clean brush in the paint. You always want to wash your brush, get it really clean, wipe it, make sure there's no paint on it, okay? Try not to get paint up here. There's some blue paint here from somebody else. I need to get it off there because it's going to mess up your painting. If you put too much water or you paint too much in one space, it's going to tear. So be careful. Your paper will tear if you rub too much in one space with water and paint. Have fun!